Well, yes, those three initiatives put forward by Chinese President Xi Jinping, I think, uh, not to say it goes to just the certain of African countries. Uh, I think it's a face to all those uh, uh, countries in the African continent. Of course, uh, given those uh, traditional that uh, friendship, uh, like especially uh, very strong with Southern Africa countries, uh, you see we have uh, like called the Ninair uh, Governing School, also based in uh, Tanzania, Dar es Salaam. Like uh, industrialization and agricultural cooperation, this has been uh, has been doing for a long number of years, especially after this uh, BRI Belt and Road Initiative. Uh, this has been, uh, you know, teamed up with uh, African countries. Now many are uh, those uh, industrial park and the economic zone, and uh, as well as like agriculturally, that is uh, like a, a agricultural technical demonstration center has been uh, you know, established also widely uh, in all the countries. So we cannot see uh, which which country benefited from those three. Actually, uh, all of the countries, uh, as long as they have diplomatic ties uh, with China, uh, so far only one country in the African continent hasn't. Uh, establish this diplomatic ties with China, that is Swaziland. So all others, I think, uh, can uh, benefit from this uh, initiative. Yeah, just uh, uh, like uh, some are more, maybe some are not that much, so but uh, all engaged together.